The thing about the recording that I'm most enamored with is just the range of styles that we cover. We didn't decide we're just going to do straight up jazz music and fit me in. We're going to do half the music that they would tend to do, half the music that I would tend to do, and find a way to bring all of us together in the middle. It's not often that you run into somebody who's really interested in digging deep into the essence of something to explore it. When you have that type of commitment and that type of balance of perspective mixed with just like native soul, right, and humility, it's very, very inspirational. in Savannah at the music festival there and Rob Gibson uh, told me hey Marcus Roberts is going to be at this jam session and I was like Marcus Roberts he's like my favorite guy and he said well you know you should come and you should bring your banjo because I think he's going to be there and he's going to be jamming. Bella went out and got his banjo and came up and I honestly hadn't heard a banjo played like that. I mean he was playing with a lot of sophistication, a lot of heart, a lot of soul and, and I, I just was very intrigued with it. We had this incredible jam. I loved it, he loved it and we were both very surprised and we were both excited about the idea of doing something one day. We decided to do a concert in Savannah. We worked up one set of material and played it twice and it was great. I and mean, the promise of the jam session delivered in, in the first gig and it was like, wow, this really is something. So that's what led us to agreeing and, uh, and deciding to make a record together. Bela Fleck fits in well with our trio conception because he is a great virtuoso on his instrument. Like he's dedicated to expanding the role of what people's perception of the banjo is. So I didn't just try to be a jazz guy, I tried to be myself, but with a lot of respect to their language. And that fits right in with what we're about. We're about expanding what people think about when they hear a jazz trio. It's funny because I've been playing in a band with Future Man and Victor, but neither Victor nor Future Man call themselves straight up jazz players, where uh, Marcus, Jason, and Rodney are lifers. These guys are like about swinging as hard as you can at all times and playing with a certain language. It was frightening because I didn't know if I could speak that language. That was the biggest thing to figure out like how to integrate, especially the piano and the banjo so that we're not playing on top of each other, because that's typically the problem when you put piano with like guitar or banjo or anything. And so the whole goal of it was to try to inspire each other so that it really felt like a, like a collaboration. With Jason, he's a juggernaut. The time is, is going nowhere and he's the leader. And if you accept that and go with it, it, there's a freedom that it gives you as a soloist. What Rodney brings is a real merging of like stability, like he's comfortable being in the bass player's role, of providing like great harmony, real strong groove, but then again, he's also very intelligent and he's a virtuoso as well. And so when you're trying to establish a modern dialogue with that, you gotta have the right people. And then when you have the right people, then it becomes possible for you to develop a band sound. There's a tune called uh, That Ragtime Feeling that I, lo I just love. There's a New Orleans component to this tune, there's a ragtime element, and then because of me there's even kind of a bluegrass element. And so for, for, for me that's one of my favorites uh, that Marcus brought to the, to the project. I really like the very first track, for example, because it just starts off with a nice groove. His music has a very sectional approach, but it's very organic. And as it evolved, at the point where we really laid down the tracks, I was just very impressed with the balance of soul and also just conceptual depth that it had. There's something about this tune that I really like, but it just never made sense in any group that I was in. And then I showed it to these guys and it clicked like crazy. One thing about Marcus is that he has an incredible sense of time. And as a banjo player with a, with a very sharp front attack to my notes, it's almost like I'm a percussion player. And so how people relate to time is make or break for me. If, if we agree on how time should be felt, the music is going to fly. If we don't, it's going to be hard going. And in this case, it flew from the very first moment. So with this project that we just did with Bela Fleck, uh, the record sounds one way, but what will happen when we tour is that every night we will be spontaneously making up many different grooves and perspectives that we can create a dialogue with so we can advance those concepts night to night in completely different ways. He's got a great audience that hopefully will be more into what we do and hopefully the jazz audience will be more accommodating in, in understanding where he's coming from. You know, having that authentic connection of working together to understand these styles and dig into them.